hey you guys and welcome back to my channel hope you are having a great day the last time i was here i left y'all in team therapy i have been doing this twice a month and it is a lot and i told you guys it is so wearing on the mental and the body it actually feels like one of those days when i'm in deep prayer and when i'm done i'm like exhausted so after this therapy session i did take a break and I took a nap. Actually, I went to sleep, y'all. I think I slept for about two hours. But once I got up, I'm going to show you exactly what I ended up doing. So once I woke up from my deep slumber, I decided to wake up and clean up. Anytime my mind is going and I am feeling like I can't solve a problem or I have a task with therapy that I have to do, I find that cleaning or working on something really clears my mind. And so the hallway had pretty much been a huge mess because I had made a few orders. I was working on trim. I was doing all of that stuff. And so I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and start cleaning the hallway, which is what I did. So I put everything up. The machine went up, the vacuum went up, all the ladders went up and I got the hallway together. So now that the hallway is clean, I'm taking measurements. So I spoke to you guys about this very, very early on when I was working on renovations. And I shared that I wanted to build a bench in the hallway because the house lacks storage. And I wanted the boys to have their own drawers. I wanted a drawer for cleaning products. And then I wanted a drawer for like miscellaneous things. So the boys came home from school with their like sneakers and stuff. They could put them in the storage and it would be um, used also as a day bed. And so I took all the measurements because I got on the phone with the carpenter to figure out exactly how much this was going to cost. So I wanted to make sure that I had all the height and everything. Let me just share this with you guys before anyone comes into my house to do any sort of work. And I highly recommend this. Figure out exactly what you want and do your best to sketch it out to the best of your ability. That way they at least have an idea of what is it you're looking for. And they don't try to give you something that is beyond the scope of your thoughts. The only thing that I have to check and I have to make sure that it's up to code is the height. And the reason why I have to check the height is because there is an opening and I know it has to be a certain dimension. So I do have to check that out to make sure that, God forbid, 
when it comes time for us to do certain things in the house, they don't tell us we got to tear this thing down because I would like to keep it long term. So once I do that, I'll kind of figure out the height. So even if it has to get lowered, I'm fine with it. It's better to have it done right to code than to have something that could potentially be of a hazard in the future. All right, so I am all done. So I'm all done. So I have the width at 211, 24 inches deep. Then the bookcase here is going to be 75. It's going to be 10 inches deep. The top shelving is going to be 24. Second one 24. Next one is 19. Because what I want to do in the hallway, again, I'm going to have to measure each one to see where each drawer is going to hit. But it's going to be five drawers total. And so... What I want to do and what I would like to do is have a bookcase here so I can just like put some small books in here. What I want to do is cushion here so that way there's like a little reading nook in the hallway. But even though it's storage, it will facilitate as three different stations. So it'll be storage, it'll be the reading nook the library and the seat right here is going to be 24 inches deep which is pretty wide so I'm almost positive with it being at 221 inches when my cousin come with her kids we can also have like little sleeping bags so each person will sleep here so it's also going to house as a day bed essentially for those of you that are new to my channel and you might be a little confused or you're like, what is this girl talking about? This is my previous house. So I had a house in Savannah and I made a lot of customizations that was very, very user friendly to me. And they worked out so well in the previous house that I am going to run these ideas again in this house. So this is the window seat that sat right off to the dining room again the drawers were massive they were like 30 inches wide about 26 inches deep and they housed so much these had like pots and pans and things of that nature my future plan is to house like cleaning products extra miscellaneous things and possibly even like the kids shoes throws blankets pillow casings and all of that but this worked out so well. So I'm going to say this. If you find yourself having dead spots in your home, like a hallway or in your kitchen, because essentially the dining room table was just going to be in the center and there was going to be nothing in the wall, having this seat right here not only created extra seating, but it just gave like visual aesthetic overall. And because the hallway is so long and it's set up the way it did, I felt like it would be a total disservice to put a piece of furniture up there instead of really housing it for storage, which is something that I desperately need. So if you're a visual person and you needed to see the overall look and how it was going to look, this is it. But instead of having four drawers, there's going to be six because the space overall is like 200 and something with you guys saw the measurement prior. And so I am going to find a lot of comfort and ease being able to have that if you were concerned about why she gonna put them kids in the hallway it will also act as a day bed it is going to be pretty wide pretty substantial and if you know anything about kids honey they be literally all over they stay up till three four o'clock in the morning they don't really care where they sleep at as long as they're in the house with the other kids they're pretty good and so i've already balanced all of that out so just to keep that in mind 
But again, it worked out so well in the previous house. I just had to run it again. And so I'm really loving it. This is pretty much the top. So as you can see right now, like I'm adding some putty and just like caulking everything. You can see exactly how wide it is and it is just so great. The next thing that I want to share with you is the opening of the drawers, you guys. This is like super essential, but that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got some great ideas from it and I'll see you next time. Bye.